I'm John. That's Muffalo. Ni hao. Meow. We join a cat. That's Chinese for how are you? How you doing? Hello. Xie xie. Xie xie. Xie xie li. Thank you. Buyao zhu yang zhu. That's 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 all the Chinese I know. John, buyao zhu yang zhu. Sorry. Um, why am I speaking Chinese? Great question because、uh, we've gotten a lot of requests for this.、Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to draw a panda using nothing but numbers and letters. Panda, those beautiful black and white, big, gentle, giant animals that eat bamboo and come from the country of China. Ah,、uh, Panda Express. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to need three things. You need a pen, a piece of paper. You need to watch me. I'm going to show you how to do this muffalo potato style, which means you use nothing but numbers and letters. This is very, very simple. So just、uh, follow me. Pause Pause if you need to, rewind if you have to. If I go too fast, okay? Because I do go too fast. You ready to draw panda? Happy birthday! All、you. right. So start with your paper straight up and down, just like this. And the first thing we're gonna draw is a giant capital D, just like this, real big, okay? So here's your capital D. We're gonna go straight, 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 straight down, just like that. And then we're gonna go out. It's a very big D.、It、goes out all the way around. Just have fun with it, guys. Don't be too worried about it. There's your giant, giant capital D. Now inside that D, we're gonna do a C, and we're gonna start it here, end it right around here, almost like we're gonna continue a circle. So we want to bring that C around to just about this area, just like this. You don't want it to touch the inside of the D. You want it to end right about there, okay? So put your bent pen here. And we're just doing a big C, just like this. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. We're just having fun. That's what we do here. There's your C inside your D. Okay. Let's do two smaller Ds. One D here and one D here. Okay. Smaller capital Ds inside the D, and you can have it touch the C if you want to. These are going to be the big paws of our little panda buddy. Okay. Inside here, let's draw another C, and we're going to bring it right about to the halfway point here. Okay, it's going to come in、uh, a little bit further than this one does, but we're not going to close off the shape. It's just the C, so it starts here. It goes around, 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 around. It touches here, comes back out, around, and stop it right there. Now, attached to either sides of those C, let's do another capital D. This one will be at an angle. I'm going to turn my paper to make it easy. This will be at an angle here. This is a big capital D right here, and inside that D, right smack dab in the middle, I want you to do a zero, just like that. Okay. Now another capital D, roughly the same size, again at an angle, just like this. And then a zero right inside there, just like that. Okay, turn your paper straight up and down. A couple more steps, and we're we're almost completely finished. This is kind of cool, huh? Inside each of these M、uh, D. Bleh, 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 bleh. Is that Chinese? I know I. Oh, got all excited drawing the panda. I made a. That's a, uh, that's uh, a blooper. blooper. When you mess it up, it's a blooper. You blooper. That's a mistake that stays on camera. It's called a blooper. Blooper. Okay.、Uh, inside each of the D's, the paws, I want you to draw a pointy capital M. So right about here, you go up, down, up, down. Same thing over here. Capital pointy M. Up, down, up, down. Super duper easy. Inside this area right here, I want you to draw a capital Y, just like this. Y? I don't know. Yep, you know the joke. <laughs> There's your capital Y, and then inside that, I want you to draw a capital T. So that goes across like this and down. So there's your capital T inside your capital Y.、Uh, two final steps: two lowercase n's, one here and one here. These become the big soft ears of our panda, just like this. That's a panda bear. No, no, not a panda bear. No, no, just panda. You don't need to put the bear in. Okay.、Uh, okay, guys.、Uh, now the rest of this is just going to be black and white. So technically, we can ring the bell. Because you've just drawn a panda using nothing but numbers and letters. Now you're like, well, it doesn't look like a panda. That's because this, 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 and this all need to be colored in black. I'm gonna do it at high speed. You do it at your own speed. You ready? Okay, go. But there you have your panda drawn with nothing but numbers and letters, the buffalo potato way. So just put the black in. I I put the panda in a bamboo forest because that's where they like to hang out and that's what they like to eat. They like to eat bamboo.、Uh, buffalo, what do you think? Shishi ni. Ah, shishi. Shishi ni. Shishi abo. Yeah, very good. All right, shishi means thank you in Chinese.
There you go. So thank you for watching Muffalo Potato with us. Uh, send your drawings in to me, John at MuffaloPotato.com. Make sure you ask your parents permission first before you send them. If you post them on Instagram, make sure you hashtag them Muffalo Monday so I can take a look at them. Write them below and say hello. Remember, I read everything you guys write. Uh, thank you for requesting this. We're going to get to a lot more drawings this and every Saturday. Enjoy your panda. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be fun. Okay, bye-bye.